how you treat people at the worst of their times or when they're when, at the worst part of their lives maybe sometimes, um, that stays with them. Um, the relationships that these doctors build with their patients, it's, it's just phenomenal to me sometimes. Um, you know, they, they do have to have compassion and, you know, patients can see through that. And I don't think there's anybody in my office, any doctor in my office, any nurse, clinical person, patient care coordinator, who doesn't really get to know those patients. When they, they, they build relationships with these people. It's taking care of the patient. The patient truly is what they are, what they care about the most, and they want the best for their patients. And you know, some people are like, oh gosh, they just just coming in for the boob job. Well, you don't know what that person has gone through to make that decision to come in to ha to have that procedure done. Um, you know, it it isn't just a boob job to most people. It'll change their whole image about themselves and maybe possibly give them the confidence that they need to go out and do something more with their life. You don't, you, you just don't know. Or the cleft lip palate child who starts as an infant um, in our doctor's care and then grows up to be a teenager and the prom queen. And you get the letters from that person and tell, telling, you know, from the mother and father saying how you changed their, their daughter or son's life. And, and it, it's so rewarding. Um, everything they do, skin cancer patients, breast cancer, um, changing, these, changing these patients' lives and um, just, I don't know, you feel privileged. You feel privileged to be a part of that.